I think the first thing to analyse when discussing the topic everybody knows the media is bad for society, focusing particularly on the sexualization of children in the media, is defining the term sexualization. In my own words, sexualization is the development or acquisition of sexual ideas or sexuality in a person. Sexualization is a concept which, as human beings, we must all develop. But many in today's society are concerned that the children of younger and younger ages are becoming more sexually aware. The main concern with this is that the media is playing such a powerful role in this sexualization. Playboy pencil cases, Barbie maker, BHS girls underwear. As discussed by Anne Gland in her article, Sexualization, Myth or Reality, 2009, these are indeed examples of the sexualization of children. Each of these products holds sexual connotations within them, though each of these products are marketed to young girls and boys. Although, as Stephen Harrington notes in week three lecture, Moral Panics, society has always panicked over the media's influence, be it from Big Brother to comic books. All these panics are particularly towards the young people and almost always fueled by emotional fear, although dissipate over time. Stephen Harrington yet again shed some keen insight into this topic in his lecture on media effects in week two, with his notion that the media cynics are anchored firmly in the silver bullet and hypodermic needle concepts. The obvious farce that seeing sex on the TV will lead to increased sexual activity or watching pornography will lead to sexual depravity. A Senate inquiry into the sexual depiction of children in the media in 2008 has brought the media in, into conjecture, as Rachel Brown reports in her story, Australian Authorities Move to Stop the Sexualization of Children, 2008. The inquiry caused many changes in the Australian media, including an advertising law which states that no child under the age of 14 shall be allowed to be displayed in a sexually provocative way. And who's really to blame the government for intervening? Australian youth-oriented periodicals such as Barbie Magazine and Total Girl teach their young readers pro sexually provocative ways and to idolise sexualised young women such as Lindsay Lohan and Paris Hilton as Emma Rush and Andrea Lanews write in Corporate Pedophilia, Sexualisation of Children, 2006. Corporate pedophilia is a metaphor used to describe media that sexualises children in these ways as Emma Rush and Andrea Lanews further note. Further on in corporate pedophilia sexualization of children, they note that 50% or over of the content within Barbie magazine, Total Girl or Disney Girl are sexualizing material. These magazines have readership's majority under 12 years of age. It seems with all this in mind that the media for youth is spiraling out of control and on the verge of degrading our children into sexual deviance? Or is it just another moral panic? As Stephen Harrington suggests in his lecture on media moral panics in week three, these, mor me these moral panics are almost always about maintaining existing social order and emotion over reasoning. These points can be justified to point out that this sexualization of the children in the media is a moral panic. As David Finkelhor in his Juvenile Justice Bulletin 2004 and Benjamin Radford in his article Is Sexual Abuse on the Rise 2011 concur, child sexual abuse has dropped dramatically over the past 20 years. Benjamin Radford states that up to a 27% decrease occurred between 1990 and 2010 of sexual abuse cases be it sexual solicitation of a minor, or statutory rape, or, or anything child sexually, really, in that that was within America. Now, this is not to say that the drop in child abuse cases is correlated with the media, but if the reports on the increase of sexualization of children by the media were true, wouldn't the result be the entire opposite? I hope I have shed some insight into the idea that media is bad for society, pertaining to the sexualization of children. There's clear evidence that there is sexually suggestive ideas being used in the media of and for young children, but that's not to say that it's turned them into sex fiends. Youth media has become more sexualized, but the impact it's had on children is just speculation. Through the only real problem is that the moral implications for such a highly sexualized society, starting from such a young age, 
it can be said that the media is bad for society. Thank you.